Hey guys, we're in a boutique condo complex here in Kona, Hawaii called Maliakai. This is a short-term vacation rental eligible property right next to the heart of town. It's a townhome style short-term vacation rental condo. You have your own parking down below, you have storage, you have a level for your main living area and a level for your bedroom. This is listed by Penn Henderson over at Next Home Paradise Realty, our office. I'm Mike Drew to our Next Home Paradise Realty, the principal broker and owner. I'm gonna look at this property. I'm gonna show you all the good things about it that you really need to know. This is a great short-term vacation rental property. If you're in that market, you're gonna to need to check this one out. Let's get to it. Okay guys, stick with me as we get to this one. There's some important things I wanna show you on the way. I'm gonna make it worth your while. So we're here at Malia Kai. This is a boutique condo complex, really close to town, allows short-term vacation rentals, has low maintenance fees considering that it does allow short-term vacation rentals, only 20 units in here. And what makes this place super unique is everyone has their own covered carport parking stall. These are townhome style units. So you have downstairs, upstairs, and upstairs, all of it. So you have this entire stack What's really nice about that is you don't have someone above you running around. Um, it's your own unit. These are concrete block walls in between the units, so you don't hear your neighbors either. So really cool. The car that was just in here was a giant old you know, new Chevy Tahoe, and it still fit in here no problem. And that was even after the owners added this little partition here that allows them a space to keep commuter bikes which is really cool. So you have this on your lower level. You come through this door right here. You have storage down here. So a place to store more bikes. You got your water heater back there, washer and dryer, storage up above. So all this also is your unit. So you have some really nice outdoor storage. And then your condo right here. Real quick, I'm gonna pan around, show you. We got this cute common area here with a pool at the top. And what's really cool about this unit compared to anything else that comes on the market is that it is the end unit. So you don't even share a wall with anyone on that side. They've added a window. They got special permission to add a window on the main level and they can add a window or the future uh, owners can add a window on the upper level too, which allows all this air to come through. They were planning on adding air conditioning. Uh, it was a really important thing. And they ended up after they put in the window, realized they don't even need it. Um, so you can add a split AC system here if you like, but this one was fine. So we got luxury vinyl flooring. And since we have our lower level is our carport, we go upstairs. So you have to be okay with stairs to the main living level. And this is a pretty cool setup. You got a slider outside to our lanai. This is the window that they added. I have it closed right now, but you can open up that side and that side, it slides to the center and lets in plenty of air. Uh, so we got good airflow coming in here. They have updated and upgraded this unit so that it is gorgeous. So this is your living, dining, kitchen uh, level. So I'm gonna start over here in the kitchen, actually right here, so this is kind of cool. This is, um, you can open this up and then you can like put things in through here. And they actually have it set up so that you can open it up from the other side and make it a pass through. Not that you need to pass things through because you got this right here, but it's just kind of a, a cool feature that they added in. Um, I think it's pretty cool. There's actually a few nautical things in here. And uh, this big, huge ship's compass. Really cool stuff. So fun little stuff like that will actually uh, make it work really well as a vacation rental. It's going to be fun to market it, but back on track, Mike. So here in the kitchen, we got the Samsung Bespoke. We have one of these, ours is just a little bit different. They have this, um, I guess there's a crisper here. You got your freezer down below. You got a side-by-side -side fridge, but what's really cool is you have a beverage center right here. This automatically fills up this picture, and then you have a, you know, just a water dispenser right there and you don't have to open your whole thing to get it while also not having a big huge thing on the side that doesn't look awesome. So you got your Samsung bespoke here, have our nice granite countertops, shaker style cabinets, chrome trim down below and up above. We even got ourselves a little ceiling fan in here moving some air around and the reason these things do so well as far as the air 
is that you have all these, oops, I'm not operating this right. There we go. You have all these louvered windows. So you can have all the windows you want facing the ocean, but if you don't have somewhere for the air to escape out, air can't flow through, louvered windows downstairs and upstairs. So that's one set. We have our Whirlpool stove over here. I like that they put the stainless steel right here because you could have some splattering. So having that there is really smart to protect it. And we have our Whirlpool microwave up above. Spinning around, dishwasher over here. We got everything we need in this kitchen. This is a great condo for, for two people. I guess you could squeeze four in also um, with a height of bed over there. Nice little bar set up here with a mini fridge. Nice display. And then in here we have a bathroom, louvered windows there so you could like have this door open and more airflow comes on through. And then over here, I like what they've really done with this space. I think the table is perfect for the space. It's a four person table. You're not gonna have more than four people in here. You got seating for four at these bars, nice workstations, eating areas if you like. They got the nice mango bars here with the live edge finish, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous along with the wood trim. When they did this window, because we're facing west, this side does get a lot of sun, they insulated this whole wall. And I think that's those two things, adding this window Insulating this wall is why um, it stays nice and comfortable in here. We have our nice pendant lights hanging down. They did a really, really, really nice job on this remodel. Great furniture over here. Plenty of seating in our living area. And then out here to our lanai. Seating for four. You can see all the way back in this common area. Again, the pool in the back there. And since we're on the end, we're here, we're on Walua Road. If those of you who are familiar, this is where Walua Road comes and connects to Ali'i Drive. And then like uh, a football field away is Coconut Grove Marketplace. So you are close to town. People love these things as vacation rentals because you're able to get to town super, super easy. Um, they do really well. <clears throat> you can got a little bit of an ocean view. Nice, clear day today. Um, really great. All right, so now we still need to head upstairs for the bedroom. So let's go up one more set of stairs here. More louvered windows, letting air flow through. And plenty of space. So basically the space that we had below, we have up here for a bedroom. So you got room for a bed and a little seating area. Now some of the old ones would have like a Soji screen door and make it like almost two bedrooms. I guess you could still do that, but I think the way they have it set up here is right. You have a curtain here, so if you want to close this off, have a little bit of privacy, you can do that. And then, of course, you have a TV up here as well, a workstation, really smart. You know, this is great for someone who's, you know, got a vacation, but they can't ever really be away from work. Um, oh, yeah, you can see our pool down there. Um, so I think that's really cool. Your digital nomads, there it is. It's nice that we have this lanai here on the upper level as well. So right now they have it set up with a queen size bed. You could easily fit a king size bed in here. Um, actually you could probably do it still with these end tables. More louvered windows on that side. You could add, like we talked about, the, um, the new window there as well. It got approved. And then we have this like walk through bathroom closet. So we got a door here. And we got a door over here. You come right in here and you have your sink down below. A little area to hang up a few clothes. Come through this door and you have your shower. And also your toilet and then louvered windows when you're not using the toilet to have those open. And then coming through, it's a little bit of a unique layout. You have to get used to that. Uh, coming through here, you have your closet along this wall. Oops, they have a little built-in right here or a dresser right here. That's probably smart to make good use of the space. And then sink over here on the side and then back through. So everything you need for your bedroom up here on this level. As a short-term vacation rental, um, this is going to be attractive. Uh, Click on the link down in the description below and I'll take you to 
Penn's website. By the way, listed by Penn Henderson, Next Home Paradise Realty. He's one of our agents. Um, and you'll see the photos. It looks really well. And that's what it's going to look like when you're short-term vacation renting it out to where, you know, what's important is how you're able to market a property as a short-term vacation rental. Having nice, modern-looking furniture, having things like this, these wood uh, benches or uh, uh, bar tops here look really good. Um, it's all about you know, creating that feel for the uh, traveler so that they really like it. Um, excellent, excellent unit. Um, I think these things are going to do really well as vacation rentals. So if you're looking for a short-term vacation rental unit, go down to the description below, click on the link, get in touch with Penn, and he'll give you all the information that you need on this one. I'm Mike Drew, to our principal broker, Next Home Paradise Realty. I hope you've enjoyed this. i got more videos for you in the corner. See you again real soon.